Thanks, Sarah. So, hi, my name is Nafisa Ali. I'm the research associate for the Levy Hume Trust funded Towards Inclusive Environmental Sustainability Project um, and in the Sustainable Consumption Institute. I'm a sociologist with background in migration, race and ethnicity research, and I'm research for this three year study exploring the knowledge and practices of immigrants from the global south and how they contribute to building just and sustainable cities in the global north. So our team members include Principal Investigator Dr. Sherilyn McGregor, Co-Investigator Dr. Tali Katzgero, Dr. Catherine Walker and myself, and PhD researcher Zarina Ahmed. So Tai's research began in February 2021 this year, and it was informed by two pilot projects conducted in Moss Side, first working with Upniet, a community organisation, and then research um, with members from the Somali community. These projects looked at themes around how Moss Side residents understand sustainability and their impressions about the environment, investigating local concerns about the environment in their neighbourhoods as well. The findings highlighted themes around everyday household practices relating to water, food, energy consumption, waste and recycling. Um, our pilot research also drew attention to both cultural differences that residents who are immigrants from Somalia had brought with them from their lives back home, but also some of the shared concerns about their local environment in Manchester. And interestingly, the link between religion, Islam in particular, and the environment was also an emerging theme within this research. So we wanted to delve deeper into the findings by doing a larger comparative project over three years with two different groups of people who moved to Manchester from the global south. Um, scaling up from the pilot project, Ties will continue to capture the stories and opinions of people who immigrated from Somalia to the UK in the last 10 years. But we're also adding another group of people to the sample who originate from Pakistan and who have moved from Pakistan to Manchester again in the last 10 years. So Ties will capture the immigrant experiences of residents living in the global south and now living in the global north, Manchester um, and Greater Manchester wide and understandings of how migrant communities practice sustainability at the household level. So why these groups? So we've already started research with Somali residents, but we want to build on these relationships. And immigration from Africa is growing. In Manchester, it has increased over four times with many immigrants arriving from countries which include Somali. But we decided to include Pakistani residents because interestingly in Manchester, since the initial influx of Pakistani born immigrants in the 1950s, immigration from Pakistan to Manchester has continued to increase in every census since 1981, where it's now the first highest country of immigration for non-UK born residents um, in Manchester, which is different to the, um, the average across the UK. So these groups share some things in common, namely Islam, their religion, but there are interesting differences, including reasons for migrating, how established their communities are and where Pakistanis are dispersed all over Greater Manchester. Somalis are more concentrated in Moss Side and city areas. So neither group is particularly visible in Greater Manchester's green circles. In fact, there is serious lack of diversity within the climate and sustainability networks in Manchester, something we're investigating, as often the experiences and practices and narratives from Black, Asian and minority communities are either left out in wider discourse about the environment or mischaracterised through notions that these communities are not interested in issues and concerns of the environment and sustainability. So Greater Manchester's combined authorities, five-year environment plan and two green summits have demonstrated concern with climate justice, but this tends to be on a global level. But rarely are the people who have come here from the global south involved as agents who are highly knowledgeable, knowledgeable about the issue or as people who are underserved and underrepresented due to structural inequalities and racial justice in Manchester and the UK more broadly. So to conclude, ties will investigate the cultural politics of household sustainability by focusing on these two population groups, conducting first interviews with um, officers and councillors and other key informants who are working the local government um, on the green agenda. Interviews will inform questionnaires that will ask Somali and Pakistani residents questions about their household practices as well as their perceptions of local environment, concepts of sustainability, decarbonisation and how their involvement with the gritty city's green agenda. And just to finish off, later in the project, we will conduct interviews and longitudinal study with a smaller sample of households to get more in-depth experiences and stories from them, which will inform our analysis of how cities like Manchester can move towards a more diverse and inclusive approach to sustainability. Thank you.